Well, uh, Wellsy, a bit of a heartbreaking loss again. How's the feeling among the group? Yeah, pretty disappointing. Um, we got pretty close and played some pretty good footy, but yet again we come up short. And um, you know, but at the same time, there's a lot of positives that come out of the game. So a bit of bit of mixed feelings. Is it a bit of a concern that we're getting so close every week and not quite getting the job done? I think um, we played some pretty good teams. You know, the first first five rounds to. You know, we're right, right in the game, which is pleasing. Um, wouldn't say it's a, you know, alarm bells, but we've got a couple of things we need to work on. Um, each week we have a review and, and we go through the games and a um, couple of simple things that we need to focus on. Uh, no different this week against Port Adelaide, but uh, at least we're sort of giving ourselves every opportunity and, um, to be around the mark. The statistical advantage, winning all the key areas, but not quite getting the job done. What's the difference? What do we need to do? Yeah, obviously, um, score you know the score is the main thing um, we want everything but the score uh, the scoreboard you know Hawthorne are a really good side they um, made us sort of earn everything we had and um, they took their chances they, they hung around and looked like we were sort of going to break the game open but to their credit they um, they really turned it on and um, hung in tough so that's something we'll, we'll take from it and you know we've got some key indicators that we need to work on you know real simple stuff which is which is something we can turn around um, on a week by week basis, so it's good. What was the message from Brad this morning and yesterday? Yeah, I think uh, missed opportunities was probably the main factor that, you know, coming through the through the centre, we had a lot of opportunities to, to score pretty easy goals over the top, but, uh, you know, just some things that we do train, we didn't actually do it out in the ground, so it was probably a little bit disappointing in that area, but the, the, the key the key message is, that, um, you know, we're well and truly good enough to, to, to take the four points, but it's you got to play, you know, to to the best of your ability for the whole four quarters, and um, you know, we've obviously we had some pretty pretty um, good chances to do this year, but we've just fallen fallen short. And that midfield group did really well yesterday as well. Obviously, pleasing. You know, you're all getting together, and you seem to be hitting your straps. Yeah, the well, Hawks are a pretty good midfield, and you know, our, our guys really took it upon ourselves to to really take it on and put it up to them nice and early. And um, um, it was a real good battle in the middle, um, probably just pretty even or maybe we might have pipped them a little bit but you know they still got the victory which is the most important thing so you know hopefully all, all the sort of groups you know midfielders and forwards and defenders can hold up their end of the bargain and give ourselves every opportunity to, to get a victory. It's pleasing to see like guys like Aaron Black in the attack giving you another option as well as well as Mad Jack. Yeah that, that two young blokes Aaron and, um, and Mad Jack coming in and you know they were pretty good in the weekend um, we just need to make sure you know, they, they sort of start to gel together. Um, Drew's the one who's a general down the bottom, down there, and, you know, Lindsay as well, even though he's a small forward, they, they set up pretty well. So those guys are going to get better and better every time they come out and play for the Kangas. Spoke of Lindsay, obviously a good mate of yours. Must be delighted to see him playing the way he is and having a lot of luck in front of goals. I wouldn't say it's luck. I think he's worked extremely hard over the pre-season. Um, you know, he's getting his just desserts, and um, he's really, um, a really, it's a barometer for us down there, not just his goal kicking, his pressure, and you know, the excitement he brings and, you know, he's um, turned himself to, you know, into a really good player, consistent player, and the boys are really enjoying the way he's going about it. So, he's, um, yeah, he's, having a, he's had a great start and he's hopefully he continues it. A player like Lindsay, he's obviously done a lot of hard work. You've probably seen a lot of it. How hard does he work to sort of improve his game? No, he's had probably had one of the best pre-seasons I've, I've seen from a player um, last couple of years. You know, he's, he's up along, alongside with the Brent Harvey pre-seasons where they just keep coming. Every session they, they train well and they, and they want to do well. So um, he's learned from some of those players and, um, you know, he's carried it on during the season. So, you know, there's no, no reason he can't continue it. He's just got to stay, you know, level-headed as he is at the moment and, and keep working hard because that's the, the recipe for him, just his work rate. What about your own form? Obviously delighted to have a big impact again yesterday. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, got off to a good start and um, had a quiet third quarter. But, you know, I'll try and, um, as one of the older players, try and have an impact when it counts and, and try and make sure we can, um, you know, help make the young make the young blokes sort of follow us and um, when the team needs us to, to try and stand up. And I think um, most of the senior blokes did that yesterday and the young ones are coming through well. Tell us a little bit about the power. Obviously, might have looked at the fixture early in the season, looked as a bit of an easier game, but now they're five and zip. It's a tough one. Oh, I don't think I don't think an easy game. Um, you know, they beat us last year down there at Amy, and you know they're a young, spirited side. They've played some pretty good footy so far. 
Um, they got a lot of confidence up, and you know that confidence comes from all the hard work they've been doing. They've, by reports, had a great pre-season, and they just continued on. So it's going to be extremely tough to beat them down there. And you know, um, five and zip, a great start for them. And you know, it's up for us to really take it up to them nice and early.